Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad E14 laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for this model. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or it just from 90 to 30 goes down suddenly then you might want to replace your battery. By replacing the battery you're not gonna change any configuration or void your warranty or anything like that is totally safe to do and it takes about less than five minutes. And I'll try to get the link for the new battery and the tools that I use and I'll leave them in the video description. All right, let's get it started. First thing first, power off the laptop, flip it upside down. And down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. The screwdriver that I'll be using is an iFixer screwdriver set. And we are gonna be using a Phillips number one. Also, if you get the Pro Set, they will include you with an opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right. Down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All these screws have a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So all you need to do is to twist the screws until it becomes loose, and you just want to leave it there. So do that to all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos and if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed, uh, I mean, loosen up all the screws, all you need to do is to grab the opening tool and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. And you just want to Separate it, go around on the side, go on the corners in here. Let's see. So with one finger, put it there so it doesn't go. There we go. Now, you, once you have this opening right there, you want to put your finger right there. Do the same thing on the other side. There's a tiny hook in the middle of the case, so you want to push it really hard, and it will push it up a little 45 degree, and it will release the hook in the middle. Once you have it in this position, you hear this, feel this kind of tension on the back. So all you need to do is bring your finger right in here, put it right there, and put your finger on the hinge, push down on the hinge with the other finger, just push the power upwards, pretty much popping this one up. And there we go. And that's how you can remove the bottom cover. And the hook that I was talking about is right over here. This hook that grabbed from the battery plastic right there. All right, then right away we can see the big humongous battery. This is one, two, three cell batteries. And the model for this battery, it's L19L3PD5. I'll try to get a link for this battery and I'll leave that in a video description. The year is 2021, 01, the month. So this is about two years old, depending when you're watching this video. To disconnect the battery, all you need to do is to grab this flip thing right here, this tape, and you want to pull it back towards the battery, just like that. Now, we need to remove a few screws. One, two, three, four, five screws that touches the battery on the top row. So go ahead and remove these screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Now all you need to do is to grab it from the front side and bring it up with the tiny hooks on the back that goes right under the plastics. Bring it backward. So there you have it. There's one cell, two cell, and three cell batteries. And once you get the new one in, you can install it. And the CMOS battery is right away here. It's like a 2032 model, CR2032, and has a little wire cable. So you to disconnect the CR, CMOS battery, just pull this jack backward. Has a double-sided tape. You can buy a new one, replace it if you want to, and put it right inside the jack. These are really cheap battery. If you're gonna replace this one, go ahead and once for all replace this one. This one is, lasts about five to six years. Let's say that you got a new battery in, you wanna scoop the back end under the plastics, bring it down, and put the five screws on the battery. And there's a really important thing about how you're going to do your initial charge and discharge. It is really important. I'll explain that in a second. All right, once you put the battery in, now you want to make sure this jack goes in evenly, straight into the connectors right there. Don't put it sideways or anything like that. 
All right, and the last thing down here will be to grab the bottom cover, put it on top, squeeze, make sure you don't find any clicks in the middle too, and then tighten up the screws. All right, regarding about your initial charge and discharge, it is very important once you put the new battery in, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to char connect the charger and leave it charging for at least five to six hours. After five to six hours, you want to turn on the laptop without the charger connected and you want to discharge the battery slowly with watching a YouTube videos or a movie or very slowly discharge it down to 30 or 20 percent and then you want to power it off and then you want to connect the charger again for five to six hours in, in an off state. Once the laptop is charged and after that you can use it the way you wish. That initial charge and discharge it is really crucial for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys like this video and help you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.